Hi there, Aries. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl. We're looking at October 24th through the 30th. So once again, we bid adieu to yet another month. Ten months down, two months to go of the year. In olden times, map makers labelled the uncharted and therefore dangerous parts of maps with the phrase, here be dragons, very Game of Thrones. And this week, could be labelled with the same warning. The Scorpio power mode of last week continues when Mercury, the communicator, moves into Scorpio, joining up with the Sun on Monday, October 24th. Now it's going to hook up with the Sun Wednesday, October 27 to make a superior conjunction, which can be a dangerous sign because communication becomes a single track and laser beam sharp thing in our lives. Besides fostering sarcasm, Mercury and Scorpio can be fertile soil for mysteries and intrigue as well as a time for an increase in obsessive compulsive behavior based on things that may have been repressed or buried under you know, every other, all the other things that someone has to do in their day. Mars, your ruler, the planet of anger, and energy squares up against Uranus on Saturday, October 29, the same day as the last Venus-Saturn merger for the year. Because Mars squares Uranus is likely business, is likely risky business on steroids, this poses a huge temptation, Aries, to believe that the only way to live a meaningful life is to experience life on the edge, which many of you are probably agreeing with. Because the same energies that are seductively thrilling also happen to be unpredictable, volatile, and potentially destructive. This may be a time to take a few deep breaths and give this particular dragon a pass, Aries, if you can. The Venus-Saturn conjunction in Sagittarius, your fellow fire sign in your ninth house of overseas travel and higher education, puts a temporary damper on those looking for freedom in love in sporting activities or travel. An intense Scorpio new moon, Sunday, October 30th, rounds out the week by signaling that an ending can also be a new beginning. With its dark intensity, the Scorpio new moon is also the perfect lead-in to Halloween. And of course, it's Halloween for people in the US, Australia and Europe and that. I think you get into it a little bit, but not as... uh, crazily as they do it here they really get into it with clowns already walking the streets and everyone's got their homes decorated etc so the intensity i feel is continuing on ever since the aries supermoon on october 15 the last couple of weeks have been intense and this intensity is going to continue and it's simply a way of all of us realizing that it's a matter of getting down to work and really pushing things through so that it gets done before Mercury goes out of phase mid-December. And I think we're all racing against that Mercury retrograde clock right now. So have a great week, Aries. Great speaking to you. And I look forward to speaking to you again next week.